This is part mm -hmm. two. We're going to continue what we did in part one, and we're going to use the same charts. So, John, would you please tell me what are the chemicals involved for number six, or what is the chemical involved for number six? Strontium? And uh, nitrate? Strontium nitrate. So that nitrate had a subscript of 2 on it because strontium is a 2 plus. All right, let's go on. Uh, CO. Cobalt? Uh, CO2. Okay, cobalt chloride. That's cobalt 2 chloride. All right, and we're going to complete that. And John, I'm going to have you uh, just finish up here with the charges. So would you look up, look at strontium, see where he is on the chart? He's number 38. So what does his charge have to be? Two plus. Good. And why is that? Because uh, he's in column two. Because he's in column two. Excellent. You remember what nitrate is? It's, uh... Good. He's got his memorized ions chart out. You should all have that out. Uh, one negative. One minus. Good. All right, and cobalt, we're going to have to figure that guy out because cobalt can be two different charges. So let's start with the easy one, the chlorine. What's charge for chloride? One minus. Because he's in column? Column 17. Column 17. Everybody in column 17 is a one minus. Okay, now, if there's two chlorides and each of them is a one minus, what's our total negative charge? 2 minus. And since there's only one cobalt, what does his charge have to be? One. You just told me it's 2 minuses. 2 plus. It has to be a 2 plus. Okay, so the 2 plus and the 2 minuses, okay, the 2 plus for cobalt all on its own, the 2 negatives, one from each chloride, gives us the net zero. Okay, and let's go on. Give someone else a chance. Christine, would you help us with this one? Christine's not here. Yes, Tadovic. Gosh darn. All right. Okay, Tadovic, what are we going to have on the other side? Who's our first metal? SR. Strontium, good. Who's strontium going to be with? CL. CL. Now, don't say it that way. Don't say Cl2. In this case, it will work out that way, but how do we know it's Cl2? Because SR is a 2 plus metal. Good. And chloride is 1 minus, so two of those chlorides give us the two minuses to offset the two pluses yes. from the strontium. Okay, <laughs> and who's our next guy? Cl. Cobalt. And who's he with? NO3. Good. NO3. And? The charge on nitrate or the charge on strontium is two plus. Let's do the crisscross magic. A two plus for the strontium here and the nitrate or cobalt. Yeah. Cobalt. Oops. Okay. The cobalt was also a two plus. And now cobalt is with the nitrate here. Mm -hmm. And so when we do the crisscross on that, how many nitrates do we need for <coughs> two? Two. Good. Okay. And that gives us a balanced molecule. The strontium chloride is balanced and the nitrate is balanced. Now I'm not going to balance the equation, which is what we do to get the atoms totaled properly on each side of the equation. We have to have the same number of strontiums on both sides, same number of cobalts on both sides. And by the way, since both the cations, the strontium, and the cobalt, and the anions, the nitrate, and the chlorides, they all have the same charges. Because of that, when we do the balancing on this, we don't need any coefficients. Okay, It's balanced as it stands. Just a little side note. So I would do this, and that would give us the balancing on this. I'm not going to continue balancing, but I wanted to at least point that out for you. Okay, let's do the next one. See if we can understand that one. Vova. Okay, would you tell us who the chemicals are? Number seven is? 
Calcium who? Hydroxide, good. And who's our next guy? Number 11 is silver. With nitrate. Okay, and there's no subscripts for nitrate. Nitrate has a subscript as part of the ion, but that's it. Okay, let's work on the charges now, Bova. What is calcium? Because? He's on what? Okay, column two. And hydroxide, you know from memorized ions, is? One minus. One minus. Good. And silver, you wouldn't know that for sure because he's not in columns one, two, three, six, or seven. So nitrate is a one minus. So silver has to be a one plus. Excellent. Okay, good job. Thomas, you're on. Okay, Thomas, who's our first metal on the other side? Don't. Oh. AL, huh? Where do you get AL? Look at what I have up here. Okay, calcium. And who's he going to be with? No, he's with OH2 on the left side. He has to be with someone else. The nitrate. Okay. And all three. Now, let's do the crisscross magic. We are putting nitrate together with calcium. So, what's the subscript on nitrate have to be? Yes. The charge on the calcium gives you the subscript, for the, not three, that gives you the subscript for the nitrate. And that's going to be a uh, there we go. A uh, two. Okay. And what's the subscript for calcium? We get that from the nitrate chart. One. And we don't write it. Good. Okay. Excellent. Now let's go on. This is our next model. <laughs> no. The next metal. Okay. So silver. And who's silver with on this side? OH, good. Now, look at the charge on silver and the charge on calcium. Whoops, not calcium. We want the charge on hydroxide. Let's get rid of that. Okay, charge on hydroxide. Don't move. And the charge on hydroxide, this guy right here, this hydroxide is one, and the silver is one, so no subscripts required. Okay, I've already written the chemicals that we're going to be doing for the last equation, and I'm going to be asking the student a few questions about it. Now, how do we know the charge on aluminum? Okay, we could do it that way. Okay, what's the charge on sulfate? Good. You remembered that from memorized ions. Right. Go back down again. Two minus. Okay. Now, if this guy is two minus, two times three is negative six. And the three is the subscript of the sulfate, and the two is the charge on the sulfate. So we have six negative charges, and we have two aluminum. So what does aluminum have to be? Because 2 times 2 is 4. You have to get 6. Good. So aluminum is a 3 plus. And by the way, the other way you could check on aluminum, he's in column 3. And everybody in column 3 is a 3 plus. Now barium, what column is he in? See number 56 over here? On the periodic chart? Here, keep going. Nice. See him? Down at the bottom? 56. You see him? What column is that in? Hmm? Okay, you're right. We got a 2 plus for barium. 2 plus for barium. And then nitrate is a 1 minus. 
Now we go to the other side and we put aluminum with who? Nitrate. Good. Okay. And now, now let's get those charges and let's do our crisscross magic. We're crisscrossing aluminum with nitrate. So, aluminum is our subscript for nitrate. So, nitrate is? Three. Three. Good. We have three. The three next to the oxygen tells you that there's three oxygen atoms in the nitrate ion. And it's a little confusing in this case because we have that three outside, which is looking like the same number. But that what that says is that there's three of the entire nitrate ion. So we have three of the nitrate ions, and how, what's the subscript going to be for the aluminum? Yeah. Good, and we don't write that. So now the aluminum nitrate is set up, and next, what's the metal going to be? Uh -huh. And our metals always come first. We never write them second. The positive ion is always the first half, which is where you messed up a little bit on your paper there. Now we have barium with whom? Sulfate. Excellent. Now, let's select and do our little magic. Barium is a 2 plus, and sulfate is a 2 minus. And since the charges are the same, what are the subscripts? Right. And that's it. I hope you find this helpful. And good luck with all your homework. Good night.